I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. There is a great need for the truth of the gospel in Malawi. There are few opportunities for any kind of biblical training in the country, and those few options are simply inaccessible to most pastors. In 2010, Ken Perkins, pastor of the Bear River Advent Christian Church in Nova Scotia, Canada, made his first trip to Malawi as part of a teaching team. It was then that he saw the great need and the great hunger these faithful pastors had to be taught the Word of God. Pastor Perkins has returned every year since in order to meet this hunger. For two weeks every year, these pastors now learn the life-giving truth of the Bible. My primary function is to teach the pastors in the conference and other invitees to the seminars who uh, are not necessarily of our denomination. The subject matter changes from year to year. A lot of it has been, as you might expect, biblical-oriented studies, but we've also got into a number of practical areas as well. The year 2013, when we taught on pastors and wise partners in ministry, that had a profound uh, effect on pastoral relations with their wives and on their ministries, and that's that's been extremely rewarding to see the fruit of that. In 2013, his wife Darlene joined him for the first time to help minister to the wives of the pastors. And in 2014, his daughter Hannah made her first trip to Malawi. And in 2015, his son John became part of the family ministry. Attendance has also created hardship for these pastors. Transportation is expensive and difficult. Some have to walk hours, even days, to attend. They must leave their families for extended periods of time and sleep in uncomfortable surroundings. Yet these faithful servants eagerly endure these challenges in order to learn more about the Word of God. As one pastor said, It is very important to come and learn the gospel. It is so important that I take time from work and pay to come and learn. Pastor Perkins' love for and commitment to the people of Malawi began as a seed God planted in his heart more than a decade ago. And this seed continues to bear fruit as he faithfully teaches the biblical truth that brings life. In a very bad year in ministry, and I wanted out, God spoke into my heart and said, you have to see Africa. And after several failed attempts to see Africa, because how do you see Africa? It's a continent, right? In 2010, I went home and didn't feel that I had seen what God wanted me to see. So when uh, Samuel Sassono, on behalf of the conference, asked me to come back in 2011, I knew I had to come. And it was in 2011 that I began to see. I'm still seeing things, so as long as I keep seeing things, as long as they want me to come back, as long as I'm being helpful, uh, I'll keep coming back.